Hey good people, Batavia here. I am building hoops for my garden beds and I thought I'd take you along with me. Okie doke, so before we dig in, let me ask you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you'll be notified each and every week as I share more garden joy. My channel appreciates it and I do too. Alright, so hoops for the beds. I'm going to walk through three different methods that I'll use to create the hoops. Super versatile. Um, you can use them in the summer if you want to cover your beds with netting, um, which I've done. You could also use them in the colder months as we go maybe from fall into winter, uh, which I plan on doing. And once the hoops are built, you can cover the bed with plastic to prolong your growing season. I'm planning on using these hoops again in the spring uh, to get a head start on the growing season, which I'm super excited about. Again, I'll be using plastic to cover those beds to get a head start on some of the things that I'll be growing in the beds. Uh, so I'm going to walk through the material that I'll be using and then we'll go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so the material that we're using for all of the hoops or low tunnels, we're going to start with PVC pipe that is 10 foot long and it comes in at a half inch around. Um, and I am going to use this cutter here to cut it down to the length that I need. A lot of the big box stores, you can, uh, when you buy the PVC pipe, someone in the plumbing section can cut it down for you to the size if you have your measurements. But once I get the pipe cut down, for this particular bed, I am using these galvanized steel straps to secure the pipe to the actual bed itself. I'm also using deck screws here, um, really because that's what I have. I've used deck screws to build some raised beds and they seem to hold up just fine. You can obviously use exterior screws, you could use a nail and a hammer. Um, whatever works for you will work for these beds and these hoops. So I'm creating three hoops based on the size of my beds. And there's going to be, so that's three pieces of PVC pipe that I'll cut down. And then there is one more piece of PVC pipe, so the fourth piece will be a bar that goes across the bed. And that's the length of the bed and it's going to connect to the hoops using this um, for this bed this cable tie here or zip ties and then I'm going to put a cap on the end of the bar and it looks like this and the goal there is um, to avoid any snags you know based on the PVC pipe and the way I cut it any snags in the material that I cover like when I cover it with plastic and that's in the goal of the bar as a whole to avoid uh, sagging as you know heavy rains come down, as uh, snow comes down and kind of sits on the beds. You want to avoid kind of sagging down and then putting pressure on your vegetables that are underneath. So that is the material for this particular raised bed.
Alrighty, so with the second method, it looks very much like the first one. The only difference is instead of using the PVC pipe and connecting it directly to the bed with uh, the clamp here, the strap, we're going to connect the rebar to the strap. Um, so we're going to basically connect these two and then we're gonna put the PVC pipe over the rebar um, to create the hoop. So that is the second method. Alrighty, so the last method or style we're going to use is probably the easiest, but I think this works best when using an in-ground bed, and I only have one more of those that I want to put a hoop on this year. So we won't need any um, drills, any screws, anything like that. We won't even need the steel clamps. Um, we're just going to have our raised bed. We're going to drive the rebar into the ground using a hammer. So this is a 24 inch piece of rebar. We're going to try to drive it down about halfway and then we'll connect the PVC pipe to the rebar by just sliding it down and then bending it over the bed to create the hoop. Uh, so we'll still have the bar using PVC pipe. So we'll still do that. And instead of using the zip ties for this one, I'm going to use these U shape here and to connect the hoop to the actual bar itself. Uh, so that is the final method that we're using. So I thought I would give a quick update. Um, I finished the hoops, which you just saw with me finishing them on uh, this past weekend. And I knew that this weather was coming. So it rained all of yesterday, which was Wednesday. Today is Thursday, and I knew it was gonna snow most of the day. Um, so last night I came out when I had a break in the rain and put this plastic on the bed 
this was the one that we used the method um, one for and I wanted to put plastic on this because I still have goodies in here that not only do I want to give it enough a little bit more time to grow I also want to continue to harvest off of some of the things in here and they may not do as well actually I know they won't do as well with these cold temps um, the temps are going to drop tonight um, to about 26 or 27 degrees Fahrenheit so this other bed though is all collard greens and they'll be just fine uh, when it comes to the snow and then the dropping temps tonight what is it the, the word is that collard greens even get sweeter once the cold hits them so I've just let that go I did notice though just a quick note when it comes to the methods the zip ties when I was putting the plastic on the zip ties um, the plastic on the beds over there I noticed that the the bar was slipping a little bit um, so I don't know for certain if I'm ready to recommend zip ties for this um, the u-bolt probably will give a more secure bar and hoop connection um, these are a little bit more expensive I think they're like a dollar and some change per where you can get for a few dollars like 20 zip ties but anywho that is the update thanks so much for watching and if you enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel like this video and feel free to comment and share with others i'll see you all in the next one